enjoy the festivities going on between Zach and Michael. Unfortunately, me and Andrew didn't have time to find our... You're wearing red. It's I am rough. wearing red, but like we do have Santa hats, and I just don't know where they are. I have no idea. I don't yeah. even know if it would fit me, though, because they're sounds, pretty small. Sounds like you're not that festive. You don't well, even know where it's at. I try to be festive, but I just... For some reason, we just don't... I don't even know where they are, to be honest with you. For some reason. Maybe we got rid of them or something, but I just couldn't find them. I don't know. Do you know Andrew? <laughs> Andrew burned them. Oh, uh, I don't know exactly where they are, but I know we have them. Where well, are keep they? Then? Jumping from I don't know where they are to Do I'm they, they don't, don't exist. Some, yeah, <laughs> you keep flip flopping between your reasons. Well, if I don't know where they are, then they don't exist. Oh, geez. they're they're okay. they're basically gone then. Move on. Move on. Move on. Move on. Jump. I, I don't know. Where'd you get those uh, antlers, Michael? Did you make Dollar them? Tree, baby? No, they I actually I cost these. a dollar. Yeah. For real. That's Ooh. awesome. That's cool. It's a good they deal. Have, you know, I've become quite a fan of Dollar Tree over the last year. I've had to buy a bunch of little doodads there for work. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff there for just mm-hmm. a dollar. And some of them, like, there's no way this is a dollar. But it is. Now, I can expect you tell them to trick Mike? me. Like, oh, it's $5. Mm-hmm. Nope. Never happens. Do you ever buy candy there? Can you tell if it's, like, not nope. so good candy? food I do not get. Mm-hmm. edibles there that's, that's scary that is scary they have full-on groceries there yeah but i don't know if i would want those for a dollar i wouldn't either i it's saw like a video i think on youtube of somebody tomorrow. made like a a dollar steak and it was like the gross thing i've ever seen it was just what, like a get like roadkill for it, the it meat? Made, like it looked like gross. roadkill to be honest with you and then it turned like some like when you put it on the grill it turned like a sort of yellowish brown color I was like, oh my god, dude, that's unedible. <laughs> like, that would be so bad. Like, nah, the you'd worst... still eat it, sicko. I don't think so, dude. That that looked really bad. That looked like a fucking dead rat. Like, on the <laughs> middle, in the middle of the road, like a dead fucking rat. I would not See, eat I, I think you would eat it, and then you're just going, it tastes like ass. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> if I was yep. starving, like dying, like of hunger, I might eat it. But still, it just looks so unappetizing. I was like, oh my god. I remember I got, like... Like, you know, like, they sometimes they sell, like, the movie theater variants of candy, like, the, the big, like, boxes of candy sometimes. Like, I remember I got, like, the Bunch of Crunch one time from there, and it wasn't all that good. It kind of tasted stale a bit. What'd you just say? Bunch of Crunch? Bunch of Crunch, yeah. It's like the box, but, like, little bits of, like, Crunch Bar. You ever had those? It sounds like, like, leftovers of a fucking candy bar shoved into no, a box. No, no, it's, it's just me like, bite-sized Crunch, basically, hmm. for the movie theater. But I, I got that, and I was like, oh, this isn't very good. I, I can understand why it's a dollar. Like, no joke. Right then and there, like, oh, God. But you I still ate this. all of it. I did. Well, I paid for it, so I'm like, I'm going to eat this. As a dollar. Mm-hmm. Come on, you could easily just throw it away, and you're not going to lose any sleep over it. I no, mean, you throw away half the I box, lose, that's two quarters. I lose one full dollar, and I'm like, I can't live with myself. Yeah. I'm dead. Now, Zach, with that beard of yours, have you ever thought about dying it white? You, you know, be Santa. I, like an hour ago? It started going through my head. I'm like, I should probably do that. Then, you know, reality set in. I don't know how to do that. Yeah. <laughs> and you look kind of weird as a 25-year-old walking around with already white hair. And it's like, That's what true. is this freak doing? I mean, I I, I, uh, I went through a few ideas in my head. You know, just getting some, like, powdered sugar. Just dumping it all on here. That would be nasty. <laughs> I yeah, definitely gross. don't want to do that. <laughs> but I figured that might be the easiest. Next thought I had was uh, shaving cream. Uh, but then mm-hmm. that kind of like disappears after a while. Like the little yeah. bubbles start popping, and that would just be also nasty. I was thinking like, you just get like flakes a, of white just after a while. Just have like a big bowl of like soapy, like bubbly water and just put it on there. And like after so long, just rebubble your beard. And it, see if that you works. You want me to just have a bowl of <laughs> I mean, water right in front of me the whole well, time? Well, would you rather have that or actually dye it white or paint it white? Dye it white. No, I don't think so. Mm, painting. Hmm. Not paint it. Not like paint it, but like you know, like like the really cheap painting hair might dye. be easier yeah, though. If you paint it solid, you'll look like fucking Count Dooku from Clone Wars. It's just a solid ass I beard. Do that. That It'd be like move. super like yeah. chunky and like stiff and all that. Like It'd I could probably knock on it. But the point yeah. is, you'd be able to wash that out. After like a day, if you die, that's there for a while, I think. Yeah, you're right. But I was—that's what I was saying. Like maybe like a cheaper hair dye, like that looks like pretty bad. You know, like the kids that did it back in high school, like for like the the spirit day or whatever, they would dye like kind of oh. cheap like green or whatever whatever color that they did, something hmm. like that. But I don't know. Hmm. Do I, that, I'm Zach? still a big fan of the soapy water. Get get your beard white, 
and then go outside like a superstore and then just have the little bell and have the cup but no no labels on it like i think i'll be arrested well <laughs> you're just you're not really saying that it's going anywhere you're just like you know you're just ringing a bell people might drop in money they might not you could make a cool hundred bucks i could but i mean hundred how many people are actually donating now like who uh, actually wants to go towards the santa person in this pandemic hmm. and that, that's pretty scary no one i don't even think i'd want people to come near me i'd be like please <laughs> make yourself look even more bummy too like raggedy ass yeah, clothes I, i'll get like a bunch of red clothes but with holes in them yeah uh, dirt on my face yep and then say you're alex silva and yep. then they'll be like oh all right, we know who it is. This is a bum ass <laughs> character. I know enough of Alex's class. I could be like, "Hey, I remember you. I went to school with you. My name's Alex Silva. Do you remember me? You remember oh. me? Yeah, yeah. Look where I'm at now. I'm pretty successful. Yeah. I'm fucking Santa remember Claus. Remember my most successful tweet: hot dogs or legs? My hair <laughs> <hair legs. laughs> That was that was not a tweet. That was my an Instagram post. Tweet. Oh, not a tweet. <laughs> you want to catch up with me? Catch me at Costco. Yeah, man. <laughs> catch me at Costco. Yeah, fuck off, Michael. Oh. Mm. Uh, speaking of alex have you done any christmas shopping yeah i'm all done completely oh. done D- did you catch the the covid no while shopping oh no why would i i wear a mask okay well, Where did plus, you get i your bought gear, everything <laughs> I, I went to this place called the amazon and bought all my Christmas shopping there. You went all the way to the Amazon. Traveled to the, the Amazon. Amazon. Well, my goodness. And I bought it. Yeah, Another it's a big hat- island yeah. in the shape of a smiley face. It's pretty awesome. You should go there sometime. Yeah. Did hmm. you find little Oompa Loompas there? Like, like no, no. Wonka? Unfortunately not. I just yeah. found like a bunch of like little like trees and bugs. They're and a elves, bunch of little Michael. small little it's elves Christmas. like Jeff Bezos. Those guys. They were just there. <laughs> Bald elves like Jeff Bezos. Pretty hmm. awesome. Hmm. What's the coolest gift that you got? I can't reveal that, but it's pretty cool. I'll say that. Like it's really, really cool. I think. Like I don't I trust that out, whatsoever. I put out quite a bit of dough <laughs> for this gift. I mean, I I chipped in with somebody, but I think this person's gonna really dig the gift. To be honest, I'll probably like it. Thank it's you. pretty expensive. Did also, very, very useful. IPhone? No, I didn't get the iPhone. Damn no. it! Nobody wanted an iPhone. They can buy their own iPhone, dude. That's a phone. You can buy your own iPhone. I'm buying you can buy your gift. own everything. I'm buying yeah. you going to Christmas is something, to buy people things. Well, okay, but also, like, Christmas, you also get something that isn't necessarily a necessity for that person. It's something <laughs> thoughtful. <laughs> you don't have to get something that's super, like, they need this. Something that they think that maybe they mentioned, like, in a, you know, talking oh, with them now. or something. And then, like, oh, I remember. He kind of wanted that. Then you buy them that. See, that's a that's what a good gift giver does. They pay attention to what they talk about, and then they buy them the most unexpected thing. That's what they do. So <laughs> I think what I did perfectly, I think, is buy a great gift for somebody that mentioned something that they probably needed. Maybe not right now, but they want. And I'm like, okay, that's the gift. I know it, was, it might be a little expensive, but I think they'll like it in the end. I, I was, I'm, pre- I, I'm actually happy that I bought this gift. Like, usually I'm not, like, super happy that I buy gifts because I don't buy a lot of expensive gifts that they might like. Because usually I put the <laughs> shopping off to the very, very end of the season because I, I, I legit, like, don't know what to get people for Christmas. I really don't. Even I've spent, like, my whole life with these people and I have no idea what to get them. Like, last fucking Christmas, I bought my mother wooden spoons to cook. And they weren't even that good, bro. You they, sexist, they, They're dude. splintery. They're fucking bad. Well, she oh needed them, bro. That Splinter, where like you get these bucks? wooden spoons? I, went, I, I, I traveled to the Amazon and got the spoons there. I, I broke some bamboo, Did you some sort wood. By, I crafted uh, them, them myself. The highest? Uh, yeah, and the expensive ones were pretty expensive for one spoon, by the way. Yeah. These other ones were, were yeah. like a, a pack of like maybe eight for like ten bucks. I was like, I'm getting that for sure. Like, we need them anyway. So you like, started oh, off as, like, a good person saying, oh, yeah, I got really expensive gifts, and you went down yeah, to, like, I, I hate I don't know why well, you again, kept talking. Again, again, that, 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 was, that, was, that was in previous Christmases, though. This Christmas is a whole different Alex, by the way. That's a lie. Yeah, so COVID made you hmm. almost better. It's no, it, it, no, no, it didn't make me better. I was just pay- paying more attention to what people Worse. wanted also. And I also, like, last <laughs> – <laughs> I think it was maybe uh-huh. last Christmas – I think it was my mother and my, my, my mom and dad bought my sister Ugg slippers. I think pretty expensive, right? Like really top line Ugg slippers. I, wouldn't know. I bought her. I didn't know that they were buying her slippers 
and I bought her Amazon basic slippers that she never wears. Like she wore one time, I think that I saw. And I'm like, oh man, I wish I, I wish I knew like they bought that. Like if I knew that, I wouldn't have bought those. Maybe I would have bought some Amazon basic running shoes or something. But <laughs> yeah. why are you still staying on the Amazon basics thing? Because that's the that's the most affordable, and usually it has pretty good ratings. So I'm like, oh yeah, affordable so you go, like, and on good quality. Safari, like what to buy your sister for Christmas? On like, Amazon, like, I do. Slippers. I literally literally type in gifts for sister because I literally had no she idea. Because I look, does. dude. No, it's it's not like we live in poverty mm. or oh, in bad God. conditions. We have they have oh, everything that they wanted my. or needed, okay. right? So it's but like it's I am about totally. I know that, but I, I just is, don't is, know them that well, though. This is clearly sad. Uh, Alex having no thought in the gifts. I do. <laughs> I, I try to bring thought, but the thing is, that I, I put it off so so late, and then I'm like, what the fuck do you want, bro? Like, I have no idea. You're, like, mad at them for, for you not knowing. Well, it's not just them. me not knowing what they want. I also don't know what I want either. Like, this year, I said, get me whatever the hell that you want. And people were like, are you serious? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I literally don't know what I want. Like, I have everything that I need right now. So I'm like, I, I don't want you to spend all this money on something, like, I'm not even going to use. You know. What so I'm if saying? no one got you anything, would that, like, hurt your feelings? No, I don't think so. I think it would. It would. I just think you wouldn't I, say it. Yep. I, well, like, I get, You like turn I into said, a grump? Like I said, I don't know what I want, though. So it's like. I feel like you would you would wait and you would pin Andrew like in the corner of the room one night like Andrew why didn't I get any gifts what's going on <laughs> while you're what drunk you're probably and... burping see yeah. you, while you you're think... speaking <laughs> <laughs> okay like I'm not the only person that burps while they drink and speak okay usually they'll turn away cover their mouth and burp you see or the they'll is... stop talking for a second to burp and then they'll keep going you burp while you're talking but don't pause at all <laughs> that is because i am legitimately monster. gone monster like gone 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 i have no so black awareness of what i'm doing or what i'm saying or if it's i'm in good. if i'm clothed it is not or good. anything but it's one of the best feelings on earth <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> like if you think about it none of you guys have ever been this drunk but if you are this drunk you feel like you're on top of the world, that everything makes sense, that everybody's agreeing with you. No. And that, well, no, no, no. I understand that you don't, but I feel that way because I'm the one that's on fucking cloud 10, not even 9, 10, sometimes on the verge of 11. Oh but the verge of 11, God. you can fall off and all the way down to one, and it's very painful. Very painful the next day. It hurts. Very painful the next day. Especially when you have people that will photograph you while it's happening. Holy fuck, it's bad. You have never had that experience, Andrew. But, and you never will. You know what that means? You've never lived. <laughs> you, no, I'm talking to you. You've never lived, hey, look bro. At him. Look at him. You've no, never look lived. At, look, over, look at him. I'm alive. My heart's look beating. At him. No, no, no. no, no, no. Look at his lips. What in. I'm saying, I understand that you're living. You're living, breathing. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Yes, you're living, but you haven't lived. You haven't experienced these type of things. None of you have. And that makes me mad because everybody's like, you're drunk and this and that. And it's like, bro, I'm having fun, man. I'm having some fun. <laughs> So Might not be fun for you, but it's fun on. for me. <sighs> Damn, Alex, you might as well do some mushrooms while you're at it. You want to have these existential No, I'm a pretty big. He's not living unless he's fucking buzzed I'm a, I'm a, I'm a buzzed pretty, pretty big anti-drug guy. Oh, pretty my big God. Anti-drug guy. <laughs> you're like, missing out, Get bro. rid of dare. Yeah. Just put a shirt that says anti-drug guy. That's what I want. Anti-drug guy. <laughs> Isn't your alcohol like a drug? Uh, No. I don't hmm? think so. No, it it, it, it hydrates you. It um you can pair it with a meal. It's good. You can't pair drugs with a meal. You can't do that. I, I don't think, think you so. Can smoke whatever drug with a meal. Yeah, you can, but it's looked upon like pretty weird, though. I would say you could pop pills while you have before a meal. You <laughs> could. But <laughs> I, I don't. I wouldn't recommend that. I, this guy might. I wouldn't. I'm just saying. Okay. All your shopping is done, correct, guys? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, fucking this, this stemmed off somebody asking from... about somebody yeah, asked if I'm done shopping. You finished shopping now? <laughs> yeah. All I mean, I'm all done. To... I love being drunk. I love it. I know. I think this whole tangent is all on Alex. Well, it's all on about the, drug it's, abuse. It's just about the holidays, bro. The holidays call for alcohol mm -hmm. abuse, alcohol <laughs> consumption. Oh, what? Hey, you just got to stay warm inside. I mean, I'm telling you, bro. Fucking. Having some shots, maybe some cocktails, a few beers, you feel fucking warm as fuck inside, bro. That's what it's all about. Damn. Feeling warm and jolly. Season's greetings to you, Alex. Uh, happier note, Alex. 
I'm graduating. <laughs> yes, I know. And I said congratulations. Well, I know. But did anybody else do that? Did anybody else do that, though? No. Because you all stink. You always. stink. Zach, you stink. Why don't you say yeah, congratulations? Okay. Michael graduated. <laughs> he is done with school. Te- his complaining, don't have a still in the process, his complaining yeah. of uh, school the, has come to job. an end. He didn't say congratulations, though. Good job is like, oh, you did the yard. Good job. You don't say congratulations. You did the yard, son. You never say that. <laughs> You graduated. Congratulations, man. It's not that big How does it finally feel did. to be done with school? It, I feel like I'm at the, the opposite end of, I don't know, the way me and Andrew both left school. Very different. <laughs> I feel like I, I still went back there the other day and I was like just angry while I was there. Just a lot of frustration at that place. But I think that stemmed off of Andrew into me. Maybe if uh, I wasn't friends with Andrew, I'd be more happy about it. Well, you've but... seen the light. <laughs> You've seen yeah, what Andrew's been, enlightened you've, you on the, the seen, darkness, the uh, evil. You've seen behind the curtains. You got a peek. Now you yep. know you can't go back. <laughs> I felt like I was like a Trojan horse in there, and Andrew was my captain. But I tried bringing down. Uh, uh, you know what? I don't know. Shit, I can't say that. Uh, I tried. I tried to beat a, a beast there. Nah, it didn't happen. He his defenses were too strong. But I'm done with it. I'm done with it. Leaving it behind. He's walking Andrew, away. Andrew, if you decide to go back, good luck. I don't know if that's nope. ever going to happen. If you ever change your... Maybe Andrew, if Andrew 10 goes years from back, now. it'll be for arson. <laughs> 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 and to go to one of those uh, only online schools. There is no physical place. It's just on the computer. <laughs> or just Wikipedia. But you know what, Michael? Okay. The thing about between you and Andrew is... You play the game and you won. <laughs> he played the game and quit. So no, Andrew won his Pat game. yourself on the back, <laughs> we had, Michael. We had different I was, We were playing the game, and then I just invented yeah. my own game. And he I skipped the yeah. final boss and, and got the credits through a glitch. That's what he did. <laughs> you actually defeated it, got the ceremony, won Princess Peach's heart, and credits rolled. He glitched it. So take yeah, that. Throw a warp pipe and I pass Bowser. <laughs> Andrew got <laughs> totally the dodged game. Bowser. Andrew got the alternate ending that like no one else knows about that they could do. <laughs> he got the he got the he got the so called bad ending. You got the good one. But to him, it was the best possible ending. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like me with The Witcher, eh? You know, we're, we're all alike in a certain way. Both me and him. Yeah. But congratulations! You know, I'm glad you're done. I'm glad you're done complaining about school, man. Because that was getting fucking annoying. Well, wasn't actually complaining about no, bro, 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 bro. There's a thing that occurs okay. in Xbox Live parties okay. throughout the years, okay. th- throughout the whole years. And now I've been done with school for a while, about two years. But hearing like just like it's these problems come up day in and day out about school and professors, to somebody who's finished that, it gets fucking annoying. And I'm so glad that you're done with it, Michael, because now you never have to complain about it ever again. <laughs> ever! You're, you're out, basically so telling me to my exactly. face that my problems were annoying to air out to my friends yeah. who are supposed to be listening to my problems. <laughs> and but, Michael, you should have known that already, that Alex was not a good ear. Why oh, I know. Alex's, Alex's problems? Here. Everyone else's problems? Down here. Oh, they don't, don't exist. About that. They he doesn't exist. care. They don't oh. They're not even on the spectrum. Oh, I, I just don't want to... It's not that your problems don't matter. It's just spectrum that is Alex's there's problems, certain problems about problems. school that I just don't want to hear about. Now, Andrew gets a kick out of this because Andrew, since he quit the game, he wants to hear how it finished, how it plays out for that player. Now, because he's never finished it. He wants, he's a spoiler guy with school. He wants to know all the ins and outs about it. And that comes from you, Michael, and Zach, and other people that are in school. That's why. And I'm just done with it. I'm, I'm so glad that you're done because of that reason. Also, congratulations, by the way. Good job. Right. Thank you. Fuck no you. You'll have a, you. a ceremony uh, that rivals Andrew's own that we had on here. <laughs> we'll save it for next week when it's, like, Christmas time more. Mm-hmm. Um, Alex, I'm wondering with this degree what I can... The extent to which I can uh, diagnose you as a fucking the psychopath that you well, are. You know what you should do is that you should you should become like the person the the, the what is it a uh, philosophy right? No, no, you psychiatry psych- psychiatrist right? Exhibit A, oh, why dude. graduating? Me I, I literally don't know what your degree is in. <laughs> psychology. 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 Psychiatry. Okay, but you should be like the character, the stepdad in the Santa Claus one <laughs> with the sweaters. Oh. Become that guy. The shrink who wants to fucking <laughs> sit down Santa Claus. Oh, bro, I watched that movie the other day. 
What a piece of shit, dude. That movie was so boring. I <laughs> Wait I, a I, minute! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead. We were choosing a Christmas movie, me and my team, right, to watch mm -hmm. on Zoom, and I was like, Fred we, could watch, we could watch Santa Claus. <laughs> I was like, I haven't seen the first one in a long time, but I love the second one. They're like, all right, yeah, put on the first one. The whole time, I was waiting for it to get, like, exciting, and I was like, oh, my God. It kind of, like, doesn't really build up to anything until the la very, very last moment where they're finally accepting him as Santa. The whole time, it's, like, just denial, 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 denial. And it's like, oh, wow, you're Santa. And then credits. That's did, it. The, did, the what, second what, one's what, so what much the, better. Wait a minute. What did you expect, bro? Do you I not did. know what the meaning of that movie is? <laughs> just be, just about being the Santa Claus. It's about the relationship between a divorced dad and his son. And how he allows the experience that he, exper that he had and no other person believes in him. How that affects him. And going on with his life, bro. On how he has to deal with stuff like that. You should know better. You're fucking psychic <laughs> or psychologist, bro. How does that not Sorry. equal a good you're movie? You're acting. You're okay. acting like it's Sorry, such a reference. relatable story. It's literally not even grounded in reality. You fucking bro, crackhead. I just explained what it was about, and that how yep. can you not relate that yeah, into man. fucking? Exactly right I know right. the fictional well, I mean, stuff exactly about Santa, Santa, Santa Claus, but, not, but the still, the, the the father son <laughs> dynamic is a thing that happens in reality. In real life, bro. So that's where Hold they on. drew that. Security, someone left the stadium. Please bring him back in. I think his name was Andrew. All right, let me out. Whoop! <laughs> <laughs> Alex, Got him. <laughs> the plot of Santa Claus 2. Mm. Miles beyond the first one. Mm -hmm. So much better. I can't even put it in oh. words. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're talking about with, with wooden Santa Claus? No, he's not wooden. He's like, <laughs> plastic, he's like plastic, plastic, plastic. Plastic. Yes. Yeah, he's got like a silicone fucking beard. Mm. Get it right. Okay, that that's that is a good movie. It, it's got like a lot of things that about, you know, loving people. Where's the butt? And, Wait, you know what? What is it? What, what happens? Like with the part when he uh, brings all the secret Santa gifts into the fucking the teacher's party or whatever. That mm -hmm. was pretty good. I I, I forgot about that when I saw it. I'm like, this is fucking great. This is wholesome. This is sweet. This is Coming loving. Up, I like gentlemen. it. I like that. But uh, do I They're... think that? You like the Santa Claus Santa one is not as good as Santa Claus two. Absolutely not. I still think I would prefer the first one to the second one any day. The third one can suck cock. To be honest with you, that <laughs> whoa, one whoa, 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 is whoa, the whoa, worst whoa. one. Twitch, Twitch, we're not with this guy. We're, <laughs> we're not on Twitch. Shut the, the fuck. The bad up. words he's saying. We 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 abide by the terms of service wholeheartedly. Oh, bro, guess what happened? We have evidence that Joe Rogan listens to our podcast. No, we don't. Absolute no. evidence. You know what he did? He had he stole one of your ideas no, we for something. I swear what? to God. What, what I do? It, it First of all, uh, before I even say it, where could people f uh, find this? To, yes, uh, yes. It's on Spotify. The Joe Rogan it. Experience episode with Terry Verts. I don't know the number, but it was pretty recent. He's and it's a, he's talking to an astronaut, and he straight up pulls an Andrew move. He must have been inspired by you on an <laughs> idea of how because they were t they were literally talking about all the space debris that's around orbit and, and you know on Earth, <laughs> and then he said, "Well, catching that's going to be a big problem because we can't launch anything up there, and it's going to be there for fucking years." He's like, "You know what? Longer forever. What if we just get a giant net?" No. <laughs> and I almost died because I was like. Wait a minute, there's no way he couldn't have listened to this. It got inspired by a giant magnifying glass glove. I think you did say net at one point. We did. We, just when like, we talked about this specific bro, topic before. Literally, this is he just... Bullshit. We're no, being, we're being I swear silenced. to God. We're being fucking chloroformed down in the podcast. Because they don't want to give us they our They don't respect. want us to rise. I was like, no fucking way he said that right then and there. Like, I was just thinking, that is an Andrew idea. Th that cannot be his own idea. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was just thinking about that. I'm like, oh my god, this is that like the tenth time this has happened to us in our the run of our podcast. Last week when we were joking about Green Arrow, Stephen Amell being oh, yeah. at a Fortnite. Oh, oh my god! Oh the my next, god! The like next two, three day, days. <laughs> they announced oh they, there was like a, a leak god. of it happening. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I we couldn't. just talked about this. Hey, bro, I'm gonna put an idea out right now. If Fortnite, if you steal this, I'm fucking coming for you. You need to put Patrick Starr and SpongeBob in Fortnite. That would be oh, incredible. That's, that's going to happen. That, um, I definitely give, see that happening. You can yeah, fucking give tomorrow. SpongeBob his net, jellyfish purchase. net. Dude, put them in the fucking game. That's my idea. If you steal it, I'm coming for you. I swear. 
<laughs> and we'll I have we'll God. have Andrew as our lawyer. Good luck. Good luck beating his stubborn ass. Yeah, Try. this is a picture of me in third grade addressed as SpongeBob. I deserve <laughs> some credit for this. Put my face on SpongeBob. No, but when that. I saw the the arrow thing, I'm like, oh God, will Michael <laughs> come back and play this game? Will this be the thing? No. I mean, you have such a fantasy over <laughs> Stephen Amell. I feel like he would play it and just walk with him and to look at his ass. Like, I oh gotta, my god! I, like, no, 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 no! I'm not, I'm not saying that you like him. I'm just saying like you have such an obsession of that guy, the actor, and the fucking character that you would, I don't know, do something like that. That I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Well, well yes, you are crazy. But I the mean, character is good, and Stephen Amell's performance in the Arrow is actually good. What if there's just a skin of Stephen Amell? Not even that's what he costume. said last time. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Is it? But it, he's no. in the costume, though, right? Yeah, he's in costume. But Michael was saying it would be better if it was just Stephen Amell. Like, the skin is just him I think as I'm the fucking... actor. Or if the, maybe that's an alternate skin for the Green Arrow. Just it's Stephen like Amell. Green Arrow, Stephen Amell. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so funny. I mean, they have everybody in there. SpongeBob would be cool. Yeah. Patrick would be cool. Plankton would be tight. That won't happen. Would Will that Smith would being in there get you to play it, Alex? They should have had fucking Gemini Man in there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> or fucking... <laughs> Del Spooner from iRobot. Oh an NS5 god. robot. Oh my god, they should put that in there. I mean, there's there's this the possibilities old video, are unknown. This old YouTube video, Alex, called Ultimate Showdown of Ultimate Destiny. It's some random fucking cartoon me and my brother would watch all the time. It was like the era of um Samus and like Master Chief fighting. Like oh, someone just Wait a minute, wait a minute. I, think I, I showed myself. you guys this. I saw that one, but the, the oh, one I was talking one. about, okay. the right. Ultimate Showdown, mm-hmm. um, that one is literally just what I think of Fortnite now. It's It has, like, just literally the most random characters fighting, like Godzilla, mm-hmm. Shaquille O'Neal, uh, <laughs> Chuck Norris, Mr. Rogers, Sonic, mm-hmm. Superman, like, yeah. Abraham Lincoln. It's so, I'm like, this is what Fortnite's become. They're adding, like, just everything and everyone mm-hmm. now. When I look at it and they announce a new character, I'm like... Who could it possibly be? No one's out of their reach, apparently. Nobody. No. Good. Now, this, I, is, this is great news. Andrew, you're the only person who's like, like avidly <laughs> plays. plays Fortnite or hears about Fortnite. Yes. Do people like enjoy like all the characters that they put in? Or are they yes. just like, this is dumb. Why do they keep doing this? I think as long as it's like a main character, because I feel <laughs> I feel like um, what was it? The original first Star Wars character wasn't a main character. It was just a stormtrooper. Yeah. So I think, like, that kind of stuff is, like, a lot of people don't like. But they like when they actually add in the main characters. Like, I think Rey is in the game. Mm-hmm. I think Rey and Finn are. Yeah. And then, obviously, with the superheroes, they actually put in, like, the main characters. Mm-hmm. So everyone likes that. But I think when they branch out a little too far and they just get, like, random shit, like, just a Stormtrooper, mm-hmm. that's where it's like, eh, it's not, it's cool, but it's not as popular. It's just getting the flat-out main characters. Yeah, yeah. What mean, about the Batman NFL stuff? I feel like the NFL stuff is actually cool. And I feel like I feel like I think the NFL ones are more popular than the soccer ones that they did. Mm. But the soccer one isn't as it doesn't have the teams. It just has like, oh, you have a soccer guy and you can just oh. customize his number. But it's not as mean. official as the NFL one. But that is it's so literally like it's a team you just put on the number and mm-hmm. go. That is so smart though because a lot of NFL players and athletes or athletes they play a lot of Fortnite in a lot of these games. So that just makes their audience bigger. And a lot of them actually stream now. Like, whether or not yep. practicing or playing, they will stream video games now. And I, I know, like, for a fact, I believe Mike Evans for the Tampa Bay Bucks is big on Fortnite. Huge in, on Fortnite. So it's like, that's his main game. And that just makes even more people who are a fan of his want to play the game even more. So, I mean, they have it pretty much in the bag. They're going to be the most successful thing ever eventually. Probably. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Maybe. But is there somebody, a character, a thing that you would not want in that game? Because everything no. that's been announced, <laughs> I mean, I was surprised that you actually cared, liked about the Star Wars stuff in there because you weren't a fan of that. No, it's cool. I'd rather have, like, Darth Vader and Obi-Wan, but yeah. it's cool to see those other people there, too. That just means I get to kill them. <laughs> oh, God. Well, time, time, out, time out to the chat and my fellow podcasters. I have a Christmas package that just got delivered. This is going to make great content. I'm going to go pick it up because I live in... A not so great neighborhood, but I'm gonna leave my video on in the case that I get mugged. All right, do it, dude. Video evidence. Right. Go ahead, go ahead. They go come off. in. We'll see. Good luck, we'll see what go, happens. Go, go, go. Zach, are you done shopping? I know that's kind of an off topic, but yes, like, I, I've been awesome. done for 
Like a month. Did you go on Amazon? Like, yeah. I, nice. Most of the things I look for, I honestly, I don't know where to find them around mm-hmm. here. <laughs> like in actual stores. Mm-hmm. And I know a lot of the places that I would go to, they don't have a large selection of stuff. So like the odds of finding specifically what I'm looking for, it it's pretty low. And well, I, just no point. I feel like, like for us, because I remember saying this last year, for us, like if we want to go, there's already a small selection of places close, and if we want to go farther and it's not there, oh, it hits hard. Yep. It is not like like oh, oh well, go home. It's like fuck. <laughs> like you, you like you made like a journey to some place, and like just getting let down is like it's a this big is deal. Dumb. I mean, it's a, it is I, I always check beforehand because like you can usually check their stock online, and I'll do that before I go. But like if it says it's there, like on their website, and then I get there, like oh, I I don't know. I then I'm like, okay, never doing this again. Oh boy. <laughs> It's the worst shopping, Michael. Would you get? I, or you I sure hope it it's in the mailbox because it was not on my porch, uh, on my front door. Nobody's gonna ring the door for a mailbox thing. You're probably trying to get broken into. No, did I think. you get like an email alert that it was delivered? Yes. Or like a text alert? Okay. No, no. <laughs> it but could have been one of those packages. It, it was only two like DVDs, so oh. it's small enough to fit yep. in the mailbox probably. Mm. So we'll see. I got um my brother. <laughs> Interstellar, mm-hmm. careful, and <coughs> Mr. Bean's Holiday. Mm. Nice, excellent picks. Mm. <laughs> that must have pained you, huh? Pained no, him. I love Mr. Bean's you, Holiday. What I thought you didn't about? like Mr. Bean. I think somebody. No, I that that's another Mr. one. Of that's another oh, one okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I like Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean's funny. Yeah, I love <laughs> Rowan Atkinson. So I like, even Johnny English. Oh, Johnny that. English is mm-hmm. is hilarious. Fucking hilarious. Scrappy Doo. Or uh, oh, yeah, he was he was the the bad guy. He's in that movie. Not not Scrappy Doo's like his voice, well, but he was like the body, uh, yeah, of Scrappy Doo. Oh yeah, that was is it so him weird. or is it the other guy? Which there, guy? There's what? another guy in there. I th- I don't know which. There's two actors Ooh. in there. I get them confused. Rowan Atkinson and someone else. I'll in, do research. In the same movie? Yeah, both in Scooby Doo one. Uh, mm-hmm. let me think. There's Rowan Atkinson. People? There, there's there, we're gonna do a, a test right here. I, I, you might be wrong, but uh, I won't be surprised if you're right though. Or I will be surprised actually. Farts. I, th- I thought that the, Rowan yep, Atkinson was an answer. Guy. What's the name of the first fucking movie? Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. No. Something no. Island. No, I think. Yeah, it's just called Scooby Doo. Oh yeah, it is just called. Scooby-Doo. It is. I thought Come it was on. something Dang. else. Uh, Michael, <laughs> you really want to go oh. up against this guy? Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't want to go up against him. Wasn't it like Shaggy's uh, girlfriend? Was she like a bad guy? No, she's an actual, like, big-time actress now. She is? Yeah. Who? Oh, wait. Well, isn't... I'm not going to say now because I, I know. But I'm not gonna say. It's Isla Fisher, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> she has, that's a pretty good wig change that fucking threw me off. Because she, I believe she's a redhead, so. Okay. <laughs> Did you find it, though, Michael? I cannot find the guy I'm thinking about. Fuck. Bloody hell, man. <laughs> what is he from? It's going to kill him. Oh, Are you sure it's on the second there. movie? Maybe we should watch it. <laughs> Yep. Let's put it on right, right now. now. We'll, put, we'll watch it with the viewers. Because the first bad guy we'll is Rowan Atkinson. The second one is Seth Green, who is... He's not bad. No, he's not bad, but I'm just thinking, like, maybe he's getting them all scrappy. jumbled up. Seth Green? No, Seth Green is, like, um... Remember the second one? human character in the second one. Oh, but oh, I think okay. he, like, betrays I mean, them I barely remember the right? second one at all. Hmm? Doesn't he, like, betray them or something? Is that this no, really short they, guy they, with red hair and glasses? They just don't trust the living shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> I I literally I, I can't like d- differentiate like those movies sometimes. Like what? I'll be watching one of them and I'll think it's the other one. Oh my! God. Like there's so they're many so things that are in in like they do the same things almost in this in different movies. It's weird, but like you can like easily for me, I felt like this was like, kind of confusing. Except for sexy Velma, she was the second one. You didn't have to bring that up, but that's fine. Like talk about the character arc of Velma, bro. From us, is timid... she still just Velma? Oh yeah, she was faking that, huh? Like she was trying to be that for that one guy, oh. the guy with the glasses, I Seth meant Green. That she's just Velma. I know that she's still that Velma. She's Velma at the end. Yes, I know that, but the the, the, the <laughs> character arc though, she's all shy and all that, but she likes the dude, and then she tries to be sexy, oh, but doesn't like better. that though, and then she has to revert back to being herself, which you might is want the to main move thing. On, Alex. Just I'm just saying, a hole right you're now. just rambling. A hole in a movie, right? <laughs> you're gonna die in that hole. No one's Once no again, one... Twitch, we're not with this guy. He's nope. just. Again, we don't associate not ourselves. on Twitch. Bro, bro, why are you so scared of the DMCA on Twitch? What do you mean, scared? Uh, you could actually go to jail now. No, <laughs> they're not going to put you in jail, bro. 
Like, explain mm-hmm. to me the rules, because I, I, I don't know them to a T as much as you, you do. You cannot play copyrighted music without the actual copyrighted holder's uh, approval. Why? And you have to, I think, forward That's that That's illegal. To You're not pitch. making any money off of it. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it there should matter, though. Potential to why? But why, though? Why? Twitch could still be sued by those artists. Mm-hmm. but Because they're making money. But, he, but Twitch it doesn't isn't... matter if Andrew's making money. It matters that Twitch is making money, so they're liable. Remember, we even, first of all, the fact that you're even asking me this is disgusting because we literally, I believe Michael and Zach were here for this. You, we tested this. You sang the national anthem. And like, I bet we'll get this. And sure enough, they got it. But it was just muted in a certain part, though. It but if it specifically it's says enough, we are you muting get, like, it strikes. for copyrighted reasons, you don't. <laughs> That is one they of the worst things. They could just delete the channel. Like, even if you please. sing it, though. Huh? Even if you sing it off key. <clears throat> it's still the song. Off key, it's not the same song. Ugh. It, it didn't fucking matter. Oh, my <laughs> God. You know what that means? Twitch is just no fun now. Like, nobody will have fun with it's Twitch. It's not Twitch. It's the, the fucking music industry. Or them, too, I guess. Yeah. It, it made the stream very... Being in your stream now, it's very... It's fun, but it could be funner. With music, I, think. I know, Funner. and 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 more fun. You being so anal about the whole thing, oh my <laughs> really, god, this really kills my vibes. I, bro. I love this. Is, this is great chat. He always said every time they Twitch adds new rules, Alex always just throws it on like Andrew. Why you have to follow these rules? Andrew and his stupid rules, as if I write these rules. <laughs> no, 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 Alex. You there's... know, most of us don't have a problem with this. Like, occasionally we'll slip up. Like, we'll forget Andrew stream. We'll like sing something or we'll, like play something by accident. Mm-hmm. But, but even if like, you, oh, hop... sorry, sorry, sorry. But, Zach... but then you're like, nope, nope. I, this I guy, hate this. you'll do the same thing, or you'll purposely play a full song. And oh yeah. Alex, everyone <laughs> like, will say, Alex, you gotta switch. stop, and you're like, uh, <laughs> n- uh, and you'll just keep playing, like, sir. Okay. To stop? be fair, to be fair, the day that you gave me the talk or the cold shoulder, in fact, the like, like the, the just like, <laughs> like that. You looked at me like that. I wasn't the only person playing music. It but was Michael, and it was will, Chris. You're the only person that will go again, even when we mention, like, hey, stop. You'll just keep going. Mm. Everyone else will slip up, or they'll do it for a second. So that's Chris, mm-hmm. and but <laughs> you go all the way, and you'll ooh, okay. Man. All right, but for the fact, I want you to continue that behavior. You're a if, villain. If Alex. Zach or Michael or Chris or anybody <laughs> plays a song, you have to do the exact same thing that you did to me to all right, them. All right. I don't want this. How's he gonna look bullshit. at me? Yeah. Just picture Andrew's sassy face, and don't let I'm it leave your you. mind. I don't want to. That thing haunts my nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> See, you already know. You, uh, like that day oh, was so bad. But, uh, also, bro, come on. Like uh, you start, you him, he, you him one note. Stop! Stop! Well, because he knows what's coming. <laughs> it's one note. How can they differentiate that? No, the one that? note isn't bad. It's he knows you'll keep going. <laughs> but the way he says it, stop, 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 stop. Singing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You could you could just be like you're singing a song, please stop. But you're like stop, stop singing. It's like oh, my God. I want to leave. You. I'm trying to save myself so you stop. don't keep singing. Yeah, I, I figured know. out who it is that I was thinking of. Who, His who? name's Tony Tony Shal Tony Shaloub. Yep. He plays a uh, minion in Spy Kids. Yep. Ooh. I I don't know why, but I knew exactly who he's you were talking there? about. I, but it was no, he's so. Not in it. No, oh. he's, it's like some kind of Mandela effect going oh, on in my brain oh, that, like, oh. I think he he's has in a there. similar face. Okay, wait, and like kind of curly as hair. Did you say minion? That From in Spy Kids. Kids, yeah, the guy with the oh, heads, like oh. twisty heads on yeah. and stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot that guy's monk. name. In, I, in my monk? head, yeah, From it was monk. on monk. <laughs> monk, I, monk, monk. I can't. <laughs> I, and then the marvelous Mrs. I Maisel. feel so strong. I need to watch Scooby Doo to clear my memory of my, this pretend memory I have that he's in it, because he's not, <laughs> and it's pissing me off. When you said Minion, I thought you meant like uh, David Cross and Mega Mind. That's a good ass movie. That's what your brain goes. I heard first. Minion. No, uh, yeah, bro, like Minion from fucking uh, Minions. Uh, minions, <laughs> bro. I've seen like that movie like one time, and it was not fun. It was painful. <laughs> then ke- keep saying banana. Yeah. Oh, Despicable Me is not that bad. The main characters, but though, the ones after are you that, minions. The minions. I haven't seen the the minions movie, but like okay, the minions in the movie are just banana over and cringe. over. To you is what they the shit that they say in Star Wars is for me. Like they keep what saying though? like Dink Ferrick and fucking oh, yeah, Womp Rat yeah. and all these other dumbass like but that isn't that they have. 
that isn't um, a gag. It's it's a curse word. But in Star Wars, that's like, what it is. like when their guns aren't working and shit, they say the dumbest things. They, they, it's like, I don't... What do you want them to say? Fuck? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would. But, you but would, huh? It's, but they, I don't know. It feels like they're so over the top of like, what's the most nonsense kind of creature name that we could make up for this? Mm-hmm. You know what? Yeah. I've Since I've been watching like the Mandalorian and all that and like the newer Star Wars movies, they have gotten a little bit lenient on the curse words. Like what you can say without breaking like the immersion of being in that different world. Like I know like in like the original trilogy, I think Han Solo said one time, I'll see you in hell. Like, throughout the entire trilogy. Now, they say, what the hell? Like, no. Nah, I don't believe that. I don't like that. That's kind of, yeah, like, too real. Wars. They sure. do it too, huh? That too, huh? Well, they're still humans. They had to have come from Earth. Yeah, but is hell really called hell? No, they didn't come from Earth. Idiot. What if... It's in a different okay. galaxy. Different galaxy a long time ago. Idiot. I. It could just... <laughs> Michael, they might might not. They have the technology to fucking cross galaxies. You dumb fucks. Okay, they could easily listen to this. From... Is the fucking is the continent and the Witcher? Do those people come from Earth? Is Middle Earth actually on this planet Earth? I don't know. I have to ask the guy who wrote it. They're just <laughs> like that was such a stupid thing to say, Michael. Like they came from Earth. Well, that's, that's why they say like hell. A question for George. Then where the where else would they get the phrase hell? I don't think George. It's will respond, it's though. just making it more. I, I I believe more like you know relatable. I guess more like real worldish kind of thing grounded. Not like saying oh damn mystical beast or whatever. Say it like that. You know that's why <laughs> they they when you say when you hear dank ferric, you're like why can't they just say goddamn or fuck off? You know. <laughs> and and like but to you it like gets you irked up like you're like just say fuck no just don't even say it, it. just just have them struggling with the gun just say shit. like that like that well Would a way that grunts? an actor mm-hmm. would do it mm-hmm. not the way you just did it. <laughs> like, like that i don't know what like, you don't just have people grunt like you're that. not an actor <sighs> i know i'm not know their techniques i understand that but they i'm could just do saying it. Just hearing them say bleh, bleh, and grunting is not as powerful and and, and cool as, as saying dank ferric. <laughs> 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 but he's not saying it like you did. He's like dank ferric. Ah! He's saying like dank ferric like that. So it's it, it, I understand why you don't like it. You think it's silly, but it's nowhere in compared to banana and minions, bro. That shit's just said for gags, and it's the same fucking gag every time. That's it's- my problem with banana <laughs> well and michael you brought up star wars did you guys watch the mandalorian season finale please tell me you did i did yes but Zach, did you is this the last thing that we're gonna talk about i mean yeah. we should save that for the end end well you gotta go in like 15 minutes right yeah i'm just saying though like if you wanted to talk about anything else get that out of the way now uh uh we <laughs> could just mention that cyberpunk has been an epic fail but i pray <laughs> that it's gonna oh bounce back. i will say i did True. get it oh, i yeah, i yeah. had it for a week i'll probably buy it, it like more or less week. flawless it works great on yours huh like, yeah pretty good i haven't had any bugs at that's all that's amazing weirdly enough. that's like, fucking amazing zach. you could tell they put all the attention on pc and zach nothing else what? what are the actual bugs i don't have it so i literally don't know so from what mm. i've seen a lot of it is um like just people br- like quests breaking so like uh, mm. say you're like trying to Classic. follow somebody uh they don't ever move so you can't ever progress so you just have to go like okay well i have to go back like an hour's worth of stuff and redo it mm. <laughs> or um things just not loading in mm. like i've had i get there is one bug and it's a graphical one so like it's not really a big deal where sometimes the like cars they load in like at the wrong place like they'll just load in like way off like on the sidewalk and they'll just start running over people to get back onto the road <laughs> just weird stuff like that uh, i haven't had too many bad ones but i know our friend like some of the bugs are uh just like logic like it's problems with the code so it just causes the whole thing to crash so i he gets really mad at that because he loses mm-hmm. hours of progress but i mean so far that hasn't happened at all and my brother's played it for even longer than i have and he said he hasn't had any problems either we're both on pc damn that's crazy damn, alex this is really just a counter to your whole why would i get a pc i can just get it on the world's most powerful console well, hang on well, fourth hang on. or fifth this, most powerful this console. this isn't fair though like this is nowhere near fair the reason being is because they they deliberately made it more 
run better and run, you know, not better as it should on the PC rather than they but just made easier. it poop on the fucking Xbox I on don't, purpose. They didn't make it poop on purpose. I, I, everything starts out as bad and then you slowly make it better. But they why did they not make it better on console at, at the same rate as PC? I, I don't that understand that. It's, just, it's <laughs> easier to do. Why is that harder? Because they're making it on a computer, so it's even it's easier to just fix it. On we've been computer. making games on, on we've computer. been making games on consoles for fucking decades. They don't actually why go is on, they this don't so hard? Plug in their Xbox and make Xbox games on the Xbox. <laughs> yeah. They have Alex, uh, you know, computers. PC versions are pretty much always better, so this yeah. is nothing new. <laughs> I, 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 I when I hear the that, guys I, at Halo don't make Halo on Xbox. Yes, I know that, <laughs> Andrew. Oh, so then, where is the confusion? I'm, I'm, I'm confused. I don't understand why it would be so much difficult this time around than before. I just don't understand uh, that. Well, there's a pandemic. There's now uh, how many consoles? Eight, nine consoles that they have to make. This it for? was supposed <laughs> to come out in April, like a month after the pandemic began. So they should have been on track for this. I don't understand that. No, there was a clearly pandemic. they weren't. I understand that now, but in the in the sense of it was supposed to come out in April, that would have still. But it didn't. So I, I under I know there that. was clearly a reason it didn't come out in April. So but but I feel like okay, I got <laughs> yeah, a real problem with the game yeah. industry at it the moment. Would have been worse. I got a real problem with this. And I'm gonna say this, and I I, I don't give a fuck if I get any pushback about well, this. Well, okay? well, before you even go on, I would say the you the game industry has a problem with you. Oh yeah. Well, like this you. is mutual. Then they hate me. I hate them. <laughs> okay. So this is absolutely fine. These. Stop playing games. Who <laughs> fucking make the games in any capacity, whether it be an executive, a developer, oh, anything. I feel like none of these motherfuckers of them, actually get along with each other. Oh and that is one of the main things. I feel like sometimes they butt head so much that they delay the game because they can't get their fucking shit together collectively. But what That's the, what happens. What about the games that come out, like, good? Like, uh, Spider-Man. That new Spider-Man game came out and nothing's wrong. That's an exception. Those are exceptions. There, there's what? good people out there. There's good developers, good studios that do the, the the game justice and get it out on time with little bugs, right? But there are far too many other instances where this just continues to happen. Now, I'm not going to say that it's because they can't do it properly. I'm sure they're trained and they know their stuff. But collectively, together, they just don't mesh well. And you can tell because they keep delaying and delaying and delaying. And it just looks <laughs> bad and worse and worse and worse. Because I think that they, they just need to hire better. Just hire better and do your job better. I'm not so saying that just fucking a... clean house. Hire a whole. If bunch you of have people. to fire everybody, everyone fire everybody. Yourself. That's the problem. Yes! Alex. All the all the good employees are at these other studios that are doing great. So they yeah. got the scraps the, of the people who can't do shit. Those apparently. scraps shouldn't be making these big games. I'm sorry, they shouldn't <laughs> be making them. They they should be making stuff that they can such handle. They clearly can't this handle this pressure. Out of the whole gaming industry. <laughs> No, no, no! I, I just don't want this to keep Everyone happening. It keeps happening. It's got to stop. There's gonna, there's always gonna be human error, Alex. Not everyone's gonna be perfect. <sighs> <laughs> Look at yourself. He's about when to. you have <clears throat> hundreds of people working together. Like, there's so much that can go wrong. Mm -hmm. It's not like there's five people and there's like little room for error. There's I, a whole ton of room I for error. I understand that. I really do. Here it comes. I've seen but. some documentaries. Oh, no. On making video you games. Fucking nerd. Um, oh, no. One being the God of War one, one being the Star Wars Jedi Fallen that Order. That came one. out fine. That came out fine. And but 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 hang on though. Where's there the is a, about the I, game there's a ton of budding head in that. A ton of yeah. that, and I'm just like, bro, like it almost seems like these guys want to fucking murder each other at times. So it's like, dude, like either get people. It's a very hard job, I'll say that. But I just think that at first, how long it took them to make this game, to ship it broken on some consoles this shouldn't happen ever again it shouldn't happen it's quite the demand for the gaming industry mm -hmm. it should be it should be no yeah. not a demand a goal they it should have this goal set in their head You're to saying, never they repeat do? this again You're telling them they do but it keeps happening <laughs> 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 why, why do we allow this to keep happening i don't understand that i don't think we, allow we don't keep buying it. the games <clears throat> keep making well, money they're, that's they're... why i'm so happy that sony took it off their store they're like, fuck them. The, re they the refunds are good because then they're, it's not like they're saying, fuck you guys. Who gives a that's shit? good, yeah, though. That's good. That's good. good thing. I'm, I know. I'm, I'm saying that's and a good thing. And you still want them all to be fired. They <laughs> probably should all be fired. <laughs> oh, they probably why? will be fired. They're going to lose money. Yeah, because they have to refund them all. Now the game's content is going to be delayed. I assure you that. Right? That's fine. Probably, yeah. <laughs> I Get love the it. game in order. Who cares? No. The Mandalorian. Yes! <laughs> <laughs>
I just had to get my spiel out there. Now, oh, spoilers. man, was spoiler, I... Spoiler, spoiler. Yeah, spoiler, 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 spoiler. Spoiler alert, so get out of here. You don't want to listen. if you're Andrew, you were spoiled ahead of time. Oh, Unfortunately. Yeah. I was also spoiled. And I, I, I keep... I, I finally talked some sense into Andrew the night that he got spoiled. And he actually agreed with me. So, Michael, I'll talk to you about this. I don't understand what the point is of skipping out on the show's release time when we've been doing it for years on network television before if it comes out at midnight it's the exact same thing as it comes out at eight o'clock i don't no, want to hear this bullshit of being like oh it's too late to watch it i gotta go to bed no bro you make time for it people make time for the shows like that on any other network for the past centuries they've been doing that for centuries so what's I don't funny is this is this is a uh, uh extracurricular activity is not a fucking homework assignment i can watch it whenever i damn well please I just the longer i wait that you used school as your analogy but yep you just <laughs> lost and <Andrew>. nerd <laughs> now i'm never understood <laughs> <laughs> is a school assignment but continue yes um when i woke up the the day that it came out i was just like you know check in whatever emails texts and i was like look at tiktok real quick I went like two talks in, boom! I see a. I saw it for like a fraction of a second. I saw Luke there with his lightsaber. I was like, ah, oh, fuck me! And I put it to the side. I was just like, I didn't even go on Twitter or social media or any of that. Well, that is social media. I didn't go on like Twitter, Instagram, because that's where I usually get spoiled. Mm-hmm. So I was like, fuck. But the rest of the episode, the whole episode, great. I was in tears by the end. I was so sad, <laughs> but. What a, what an end of an era, right, of Baby Yoda? Isn't it so good? Like it, it, the the ending of that episode was like so wholesome and so full of emotion, more than like anything that they've ever put out before in Star Wars. I think it was just it felt so right, and it felt like a good send off potentially for Baby Yoda, Grogu. And I just remember like I I told Andrew this, there is not like one like funny gag just to release tension at all in that episode. I think like it's pretty like solid throughout the entire episode and i'm just thinking like man if this was run by like jj abrams or anything like that they'd put jokes right there right there make it break the tension and all that but this episode was amazing and yes luke skywalker finally came back i was sort of like hoping that they wouldn't do it because i just feel like i don't know about that man it's kind of far-fetched but the way that they did it was just like oh. but they saw the success from tron legacy many years ago and they're like you know yep. what we're ready <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah and i i gotta say luke skywalker looked a little weird no. at first i think but yeah, i watched it again he's a little stiff yeah a little stiff like and then i watched it again and i'm like you know what he's not shown that much like directly like at, at his face like from like super close up so i'm like you know what this works and i like no, it I, I think they also took some inspiration from the the cg and tron legacy because he looked like ass to me his <laughs> but, fucking face dude <laughs> Like young Finn or whatever the hell his name is in Tron, terrible. Oh well, that and was this... wait, that was ten years ago, Michael. That was you mean like, young Nick? Jeff Bridges. Young Finn, <laughs> as if he's trash like young Finn. No, yeah. Yeah. Can't can't Clue. Mm-hmm. How dare you oh. disrespect Clue in such a way? <laughs> I don't give a shit about that movie, bro. <laughs> but yeah, when Luke was talking and stuff, his mouth was like barely, like barely yeah, opening. It was kind of weird. <laughs> it, that, yeah, that was weird. But I think that like the the very last word line that he said. May the force be with you. With Mark Hamill's voice, like oh, obviously, you got full erect. Oh, right dude, there when it, he said it that? was it was so white. In, it was so <laughs> a lot of C and, and white, but like <laughs> it was it, it was so like Luke, and I feel like Mark Hamill did it and was like so Luke. <laughs> no, 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 but like I feel like this is like how Mark Hamill would have enjoyed playing Luke Skywalker again. Because I remember, like, seeing, like, interviews and, like, him in, like, the documentary. Like, I remember. I he was, forgot. like, not a fan of what was happening to his character then. Like, he was just not going with it. And, like, I feel like doing this put him, put his heart and his soul at ease to the fans. Because he was, like, so, like, just quintessential from, like, Return of the Jedi. But obviously gotten older. And, like, you know, the Force and his lightsaber fighting was sick. And just like you know, oh, he's matured like into a more of a like a mature Luke. And seeing that line, may the force be, or hearing that line, may the force be with you at the very end was just ah, oh, I felt so good. I felt so good, man. I felt good. Nah, I guess that's just kind of what Jedi say to each other. But yeah, Star go Wars off. nerd. <laughs> <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> 
<laughs> Even Andrew's saying, Jesus. <laughs> but I think that might have been, like, the best Star Wars we've had in, like, ever. Like, what, like the last decade? Cause the last shits, decade, shits. I think. Shits. Yeah. Fine, yeah. Uh, that, that's not a Bro, very what high if... bar, though. Oh, never mm. mind. <laughs> what kind of happened? What? What, Michael? I almost said, what if it was Ray, but that's not possible. Oh, I they... think everybody would fucking... Oh, the, oh, the show would have been canceled. There'd be so much hate <laughs> right. that they would, all right, scrap it. It's over. Wouldn't she have to be, like, eight? Not, yeah, not she'd born. be, like, negative eight. <laughs> or, no, not young. even eight. Yeah, probably not born yet. Because, <laughs> like, I mean, the whole point of this was, like, so they could, like, make clones of the Emperor or whatever. For yeah, Alex, what if it was fucking, what's his whatever? name, who played Starkiller in Force oh. Unleashed? Um, <laughs> I would be... I don't remember. I wouldn't... That. I'd be, like... Oh, I was Sam not expecting worth, that at all. Worthy, no, you would have been pissed Worthy off. Too. No, listen, Michael. Listen. Yeah. I, I, I my only exposure to fucking Star Killer is just watching gameplay of that game and the silliness okay. of it. Like I don't know the actual character, like what he's about and all that. I'm pretty sure he's more in depth, but I don't know. But I, if I don't know, Why that's just is my it only so thing. So silly. Because it's like it's <laughs> that's a good question. It looks like God of War, bro, but in Star Wars, and none of the other it's fucking characters or Jedi do that. So it's like, what is this guy? Like, what makes him so he supposed to be like ridiculous? Yeah, he's like powerful. super powerful. Yeah, but that was like a mis- I feel like a no. like, kind of like no. just like not in like the realm of Star Wars. Like it just okay. doesn't fit though. I, I just feel like it's just like it's so superhero y, and it's just like it doesn't fit though. I just don't think it fits. I mean, Jedi what part are specifically? Like he's just using the Force. Uh, bringing I down an it. entire Star Destroyer like with like little ease is like, what the hell? What it is this? It was not little ease. He was struggling for like 10 minutes trying to bring well, it down. Sure, but like it just seems so like, well, why do we even fucking make a fucking fleet of have ships? You played they have this game? guy. No, like no, no, no. It. I've never okay. I played it. I've just seen of course, it. That's why I'm basing it. I'm just Alex basing shit. it. Well, I just said yeah. that earlier that I was basing it off of the gameplay that I've seen, and all I've seen is him fucking slashing shit. That's what I just but, said. Uh, see, that's not very clear. That could be like I played a little bit. But I also and, like, said it. that I don't know about his actual character and if he has like potential. Maybe okay. he does. I don't so, know. I I think you You're being the main opposition to this may be not the best idea since you don't actually know. Michael asked me <laughs> what if Star Killer was the uh, guy. Mike, That's why I us. responded. Michael did this. Michael <laughs> <laughs> was trying to. It's trying Christmas to time, folks. I got to start beef. Get jolly. <laughs> get jolly. But overall. Right, back to the episode, real quick. Can I just say something? Go ahead. Go ahead. The, the music for, for the um, Dark Troopers? Really weird. Oh, that, that fucking rave beep boop yeah. shit. I, oh, like, yeah, 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 yeah. like, I think it's fine in, like, a vacuum, like, if you take it out of context, but, like, in that episode and then just in that show, it just felt really weird. Like, I just couldn't stop paying attention to it. I'm like, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, this just feels really weird, but uh, that so was I the thought, only thing I thought was, like... I thought weird. Mando was toast when that fucking... The thing was the smashing his head into the wall. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, this guy's that was, next gonna." Fly actually, that out. might have been the funny part of the mm-hmm. that episode. He took off so his it's helmet. Like he, he just was... kept doing it, and it was perfectly fine. But the wall yeah. was perfectly indented. When he took off his helmet to say bye. I, I thought it was like, I, all bloody and admit, shit though, from that. I will admit that kind of threw me off. Like, okay, his helmet's like not even denting. Well, it's really? I, I mean, know that, yeah, but I know that, but it's just like. But the inside is fucking brains like slamming against <laughs> his skull. Bro, he's got to be fucking concussed. Concussion? Concussed. <laughs> yeah, Andrew, what if he came out? You know what? <laughs> Stop. I'm not Stop. answering. <laughs> dead. I'll just dead. I'll, what if he was I'll, dead? I'll chuckle. Dead? Nope. Then, yeah, what if they, that was the end? He was just dead right there in the hallway. I'd have been satisfied. <laughs> He just died in the hallway. I mean, you know, then what's her name? Bo Katan has to fight, what the hell? Moff Gideon, and, you know, the show continues, and Mm -hmm. then Luke Skywalker still comes, so. Yep, yep. Well, they already greenlit season three. It looked like it ended, like. And there's a a... show? Mm hmm. Tease at the end? I I didn't even know that it was going to (laughs) happen. Like, at the end of the credits. uh, Like, just because they had no concept art. I was like, wait a minute, is something going to happen? It's supposed to be a big surprise. I thought they were they were teasing an actual book, like a no no no. It's gonna be like the book of I don't want to read this shit. Fuck that. It'd be like the book of Avatar, where they're like, oh, this is the book of water, the book of fire, (laughs) and that was just the seasons. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Mm. Sorry, not Avatar, the Blue People movie, but the (laughs) the last Airbender, that guy. I would have been excited. 
It would have heard the excitement. Oh, shut up. Oh, my God. It would have been perked up like, oh. (laughs) We don't watch Avatar? (laughs) But that comes out next year, so. I don't know. No, it does. No, they're going to delay it again. Fett. I'll I believe mean, it, when, uh, I, it? I, when I'm physically in the chair. They, they might. I could see them delaying it, but hopefully it makes its release date. We'll see you, though. Mm-hmm. All right, any, anything if, last what if things? broken? What if it's a mess? You're just yeah, going to scrap thing, them. Bo-Katan's what if, what if it doesn't work dude, on just all take the, the devices? What if it's only good at the movie theater? What if it's going to be bugs? <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> and Michael not being a fan of Bo-Katan. Yeah, Probably well, she's a I was a fan of her up until she, she was like, I can't take it. Bitch, just take it. She Fuck. can't. Oh, she can't. literally can't. Andrew. She also, just open your fucking hand. She also has. Right there. She can't. She also so has the, the other uh, the other fucking Mandalorian chick. I can't remember her name, but she's a witness. She can't just take. I would have fucking walked to the airlock and just whoop, threw it out into space. Like no one's no one's getting it. Then I guess <laughs> I was like, no one's gone. Fight space to get it back. Mm. And then, then she literally would have to. She would just what watch it go. She can't literally can't go get it. Like it's done. Mm. She can't. It's over. Well, that's her own fault. That's what <laughs> happens when you're. See, that's her cult <laughs> belief <laughs> shit that she can't break. Yep, yep. He couldn't take off his helmet. And that was her they're like, plan. They're like, like, take it off. Oh, it's fine. He's not here. I don't know what to do. I'll just wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Anything else? Um, uh, Merry Christmas. No. Now we gotta good. get yeah, Zach out of here. Christmas. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys for listening and watching. Hopefully my rants didn't uh, trigger you, the shit. Tri- yeah, oh, trigger oh, the oh. fuck out of you. But uh, Twitch, don't get us in trouble, trip, please. Tri- uh, Twitch, don't get us banned. Andrew, be a little bit more nice on the stream. Yeah, Twitch, come on, To man. us. It's not me. It's this guy. Yeah, yeah. Ban him. Rally. Yep. He's not with him. <laughs> if you want to have a good stream of video games with no music mentioned, you can find Andrew's Twitch at what? Oh, average league one. Can you speak aloud, a little bit louder? Get it, get it plugged in. Sure, let me spell it for you. <laughs> Average Elite One on Twitch, folks. Monday, Monday through Friday. Friday. Are you streaming on Christmas Eve or Christmas this week or no? Fuck no. No? So Monday through Wednesday. This oh, coming yeah. week. Well, I don't know what day Christmas yeah. is. If that. It's we'll on Friday. Say Monday for now. Oh. 12 and anywhere between 12 <laughs> and 5. We'll and, and, but, but you know what the thing is? You've been going later, so you're kind of making up for that. So that's a good thing. That is good. Yeah, whatever. I don't even think about it. <laughs> He almost agreed with you, and then he caught, <laughs> yeah, he caught like, himself. Yeah, no, like, I can't no, agree with this I guy. Mean, I literally, I don't know. It's just never planned. True. That's but that's the whole beauty of the Twitch channel of him. Of the never Twitch. planned, but mm-hmm. it's always in for surprises. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Michael and Zach, for coming so festive and us looking like shlemels. Um, I love happy fun. holidays. Happy holidays. Fun. Ho ho ho. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Whatever you celebrate, have. Make sure you're doing it safe with families, your loved ones. Thank you so much. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube at Out of the Ordinary Friends. And we'll see you next week.